The strange woman asked Su Chen if he thought her sincerity was insufficient. To prove her sincerity, she removed all her clothes and asked what he thought of her now. Su Chen's friends were shocked by this and asked him if he now had such a peculiar taste. However, the strange woman was just buying time. As soon as she had the opportunity, she used a smoke bomb and tried to escape. Unfortunately for her, Su Chen caught her before she could get away and told her, Did you think it would be that easy to escape? The strange woman then warned Su Chen that he couldn't kill her because the little girl he saved and her two brothers had been taken to the arena. If he killed her, they would be killed as well. Su Chen, unfazed, asked, What do they have to do with me? And threw the woman into the sea. Tian Yue then asked Xiao Miao who the girl she mentioned was. Xiao Miao told him it was Xiao Mei and her two brothers. The guards must have taken them while they were away. Xiao Miao asked Tian Yue what they should do now, because if they didn't save them, they would be bitten to death by the big rats. Su Chen, upon hearing about the rats, got angry and said, Let's go check it out. But Tian Yue asked Su Chen to stay calm and try to avoid conflicts. Meanwhile, at the arena, Captain Guo told the little girl, Xiao Mei, that her two brothers had failed to complete their task, which was a death sentence. But since she was willing to enter the arena, he might consider giving them a chance. One of Xiao Mei's brothers told her to run and not believe Captain Guo. Captain Guo smiled and told him it was too late to leave now. Xiao Mei didn't want to leave her brothers there, so she asked Captain Guo if he would really let them go if she fought. Captain Guo replied, Of course, as long as you can survive, you are all free to leave. He ordered his men to release the mutated rat. As the rat was released, it appeared behind Xiao Mei and started attacking her, biting her hand. Xiao Mei, in severe pain, remembered the happy moments she spent with her brothers. One day, her brother found a lot of mushrooms. She was worried if the mushrooms were poisonous, but her big brother didn't let her eat something so uncertain. He tried them first to find out if they were safe. Unfortunately, the mushrooms were poisonous, but he survived. On another occasion, while they were going on a mission to earn contribution points, her brother told her that once they completed the task, they would get the points and wouldn't have to starve anymore. He reminded her to be good, not to run around, and to wait for their return to eat something delicious. In the present, Xiao Mei's brothers told her not to worry about them, urging her to get out and live well. Captain Guo, watching with interest, ordered his men to shut them up. His men removed the block from their feet and hung them. Upon seeing this, Xiao Mei started shouting loudly, but couldn't do anything as she was also in a tough situation. She grabbed a stick tightly and stabbed the rat in the eye, freeing herself from its mouth. Once free, she ran toward her brothers to save them, telling them to hang in there. However, the mutated rat started running toward Xiao Mei and caught her. Captain Guo laughed upon seeing this and said, A little kid trying to save her brothers? Ridiculous. That's why trash like you shouldn't be alive. As the mutated rat was about to attack Xiao Mei, she cried, wondering why this was happening to them and who could save them. Su Chen arrived and killed the mutated rat with just one punch, leaving Xiao Mei speechless. Even Tian Yue was surprised, saying that Su Chen was too impulsive. Mockingly, Su Chen asked Captain Guo, Is this all? It seems this rat is just big. However, Su Chen realized that there was no crystal nucleus in the mutated rat's head, which felt different from ordinary mutated creatures. Captain Guo smiled and said to Su Chen, Since you seek death, I'll fulfill your wish. He then ordered his men to release all the mutated rats. Meanwhile, Tian Yue and Xiao Miao rescued Xiao Mei's brothers. Xiao Mei asked her big brother and second brother if they were all right. Both of them thanked Xiao Mei for saving their lives, but Xiao Mei told them it was all thanks to brother Su Chen, who had saved them. Without his help, they would have died by now. At the research lab, the strange woman, who had survived after being thrown into the sea, reported to her boss. She asked if the man down there was the special research material she had mentioned. She believed that utilizing his genes would definitely solve the instability of the doomsday genes. The boss questioned if she was telling the truth, noting that the rats were created using the latest technology, making them bigger and more ferocious than before. He told her that if Su Chen died here, then he didn't deserve to be his special experimental subject. Meanwhile, Su Chen killed all the mutated rats in seconds, leaving Xiao Mei's brothers and Tian Yue speechless. Xiao Mei's brothers were shocked to see Su Chen take down the mutated rats instantly, 
while Tian Yue wondered if this was really the Su Chen he knew. Captain Guo was furious, wondering how Su Chen had killed them so quickly. Su Chen, however, was not pleased, as he couldn't find any crystal nucleus in the mutated rats' heads. Suddenly, an announcement came from the research lab, declaring that Su Chen was the experimental material they needed. The boss told Captain Guo and Tian Yue to bring Su Chen up to him. Captain Guo smiled, saying, The boss has spoken. You're done for. The boss added that it didn't matter if Su Chen was alive or dead, he just needed his body for his research. Zhao Miao advised Du Yaya to leave quickly, saying the situation was dire, and if she didn't go now, she wouldn't be able to leave. However, Du Yaya disagreed, insisting that she wouldn't leave. As long as Su Chen is here, she won't go anywhere, Captain Guo said with a laugh. He turned to Tian Yue and asked, I heard you two are brothers, but we only survived this apocalypse thanks to the boss. So who will you choose? Su Chen asked Tian Yue. Well, what's going on? What does he mean? Tian Yue explained. The man upstairs is Liu Heyun. At the beginning of the apocalypse, he developed a drug that makes people stronger, allowing him to control the university. However, this drug requires us to trade our life force for strength. Once we can't get the drug, we become weaker than anyone else. Su Chen, upon hearing this, asked Tian Yue, If I say I have a way, would you be willing to come with me? Tian Yue apologized to Su Chen, saying, I'm sorry, I have no choice. Captain Guo, seeing this interesting plot development, started laughing and said, I never thought I'd see brothers turning against each other today. How interesting. The time is almost up, and the boss is still waiting. He grabbed his weapon and jumped towards Su Chen to attack him. However, instead of attacking Su Chen, Tian Yue kicked Captain Guo, saying, I don't want to choose. Captain Guo, surprised and angry, shouted, You dare to betray the boss? Tian Yue responded, the boss just wants to use the drug to control me. I have nothing to lose. If I die, I die. But if anyone dares to touch my brother, I will fight them to the death. After listening to this, Su Chen smiled and thought, Brother Tian, you really are just like before. Tian Yue then ran towards Captain Guo to attack him. Captain Guo, furious, yelled, Since you want to die, I'll crush you all together. But Tian Yue warned him, saying, with just your strength, you are far from enough. He rapidly punched Captain Guo in the face. But it was not enough to move Captain Guo's gigantic body. Captain Guo smiled and said, The boss knew you'd betray him. So he gave you the level 1 drug. I used the level 2 drug. Tian Yue was really surprised after hearing this. This fatty captain used the level 2 drug, he thought. Captain Guo boasted, My fat is the strongest defense. No one can hurt me. And attacked Tian Yue. However, Tian Yue stopped his attack with his bare hands, but he was badly injured. Captain Guo laughed and pressed a button on his hammer. Electricity started emanating from the hammer. Tian Yue realized this wasn't good. The meteor hammer was electrified. Just when Tian Yue thought everything was over, Su Chen jumped from behind and attacked Captain Guo with his own electrified hammer, asking, I heard no one can hurt you, right? Seeing this, Tian Yue, Miss Duan Ya, and Xiao Miao were shocked. Even Liu Heyun was left speechless. Captain Guo died because of his own electrified hammer. Liu Heyun, who was watching from his lab, remarked, Interesting. I'm getting more and more intrigued by you. I've spent all my resources and manpower here to find a way to evolve humans into perfect beings, leading to significant breakthroughs in my experiments. Your recent display of strength proves your value. He asked Su Chen to join his experiment and become the first perfect human. However, Su Chen refused, asking, When you say perfect human, do you mean a rat? Liu Heyun was surprised that Su Chen managed to guess his primary research direction. He explained that rat genes are indeed the closest to human genes. He planned to use rat genes to create an army of rat men and then conquer the world. In such a case, the apocalypse would be heaven for them. He asked Su Chen if he was excited. However, Su Chen didn't care. The whole process sounded stupid to him. Liu Heyun was not pleased to hear this and told Su Chen, It seems you don't understand how great evolution can be. Let me show you. He instructed a creepy woman to fire a shot. Su Chen dodged the bullet, but it hit Captain Guo instead. His body started mutating. Tian Yue warned Su Chen, Get out of here. His body is mutating. Miss Duanya was also surprised to see this creepy experiment, wondering what kind of things these people were researching. Liu Heyun told them, This guy is a sumo wrestler, and his fat makes him resistant to hits. 
combined with the level 3 drug he just injected, which enhances strength and heals. Su Chen is no match for him. Liu Heyun questioned Su Chen. Do you see the greatness of evolution? But Su Chen didn't care at all. He showed his middle finger to Liu Heyun and said, Greatness, my ass. You're just turning people into monsters. Liu Heyun got really angry and ordered Captain Guo, Kill this ignorant fool and extract his genes from the corpse. Captain Guo started attacking Su Chen with his massive body. A scared Miss Duan Ya told Su Chen to be careful. Su Chen, standing there without moving, didn't care about this mutated threat. He grabbed Captain Guo's electric hammer with his bare hands and removed the batteries, saying, You think putting a couple of batteries in a weapon can kill someone? Then let you taste the batteries as well. He threw the battery into Captain Guo's mouth. The batteries exploded in his mouth, tearing his body into pieces. Both Tian Yue and Miss Duan Ya were shocked to see this, wondering if Captain Guo was really dead. Liu Heyun was also shocked to see Su Chen using battery explosions to cause damage. But he said, This much firepower is not enough to kill a level 3 mutated. The level 3 drug has a strong healing capability. In the face of the power of evolution, you are utterly powerless. However, for Su Chen, this was just an annoyance. He ran towards Liu Heyun and attacked his face with full power, smashing him into the wall. But he was very careful not to reveal his superpower, because very few people knew about superpowers nowadays. So it's best not to let others see how he uses his power. He used the dust to block the view, so not even Miss Duan Ya could see through it. Liu Heyun wondered what exactly Su Chen was planning. Meanwhile, Su Chen, even after being injured so badly, kept recovering. He realized that Liu Heyun's research was quite something, but his space dimension didn't just contain supplies. He had also prepared many secret weapons. He had stored many destroyed building materials in his space dimension to use as weapons in times of need. He dropped all the building materials on Captain Guo to kill him. A really loud sound came from the dust. Tian Yue and Miss Duan Ya were surprised, wondering what the noise was. Liu Heyun was also curious about what Su Chen was up to now. As soon as the dust started clearing, everyone was shocked to see Su Chen sitting on top of a pile of cement and steel, while Captain Guo was buried underneath the debris. Upon seeing this, Liu Heyun got really angry. He shouted at Su Chen, I don't care who you are or where you got this pile of junk, but daring to provoke me like this, I will make sure you die without a place for burial. He asked Su Chen to look around him and declared that they were all dead meat for sure. He ordered his men to release all the mutated rats. Su Chen got really excited to see this and said, I also don't plan on letting any of you go either. Miss Duan Ya saw that they were surrounded by mutated rats. Everyone who had once gone to the lab had mutated into rat men. Su Chen told Miss Duan Ya and Tian Yue that his target was Liu Heyun up there. If they didn't deal with him, this would never end. He instructed Miss Duan Ya and Tian Yue to take care of the mutated rat men. Miss Duan Ya, upon hearing this, realized that if she lost her value, she would have no right to stay by Su Chen's side. She told Su Chen not to worry and assured him that she would keep them under control. Su Chen, after saying that, started heading toward the research lab. Before he left, he told Miss Duan Ya that if she couldn't handle it, she should call out to him loudly. As Su Chen left, Miss Duan Ya gathered everyone and told them she would control the mutated rats while they focused on killing them. However, there were quite a lot of them. She had never controlled so many at once, but she had to do it if she wanted to stay by Su Chen's side. Meanwhile, Liu Heyun, watching from the research lab, said, A few mere traitors, you will become food for the rat men. But suddenly, one of his men reported that Su Chen had taken down the security personnel in the building and broken into Miss Yun's room. Liu Heyun got really angry upon hearing this and said, How dare he break into that place? He told his men to immediately inject the doomsday gene into his body. His men warned him that the gene fusion was still unstable and it was too risky. However, Liu Heyun didn't care and ordered them to do as he said. He will personally deal with Su Chen. Meanwhile, Su Chen, who had broken into the research lab, saw many grotesque demons that Liu Heyun was experimenting on. Suddenly, Su Chen saw Yun Yun in an experiment container, covered by appendages. He wondered how she ended up there. She was the same girl he had met before the apocalypse, after their encounter at the bar. He never expected to meet her here. 
But first, he broke the container and saved Yun Yun. As he got Yun Yun out of the container, she regained consciousness and was really happy to see Su Chen again. Su Chen told her not to worry, saying he would get her out of there. But she told Su Chen that she was hungry. Su Chen reassured her that he would give her something to eat once they were out. Suddenly, a voice came from behind, ordering Su Chen to let go of her, and an ice arrow was shot at him. Fortunately, Su Chen stopped it by catching it with his hand. Liu Heyun, furious, told Su Chen to take his filthy hands off her, declaring that she was the woman he had chosen. Su Chen was surprised to see that Liu Heyun had ice abilities. He retorted, The woman you chose, do you think you're shopping for merchandise? Liu Heyun replied, In the apocalypse, ordinary people are just ants. Someone like me, who holds the power of evolution, will inevitably rule the world. To be my woman is her honor. Su Chen confirmed that Liu Heyun was indeed the lunatic the rumors had described. Suddenly, Yun Yun started hugging Su Chen, telling him not to leave her again. Su Chen comforted her and told her not to worry. He would not leave. Seeing Su Chen and Yun Yun hugging each other, Liu Heyun became furious. He ran towards Su Chen to attack him, shouting, Let go of her! She is my woman, you bastard! Su Chen kicked at him, but Liu Heyun dodged it. However, Yun Yun suddenly started kissing Su Chen, saying, Who told you to leave me last time? This is what you owe me. After saying this, she became unconscious again. Su Chen tried to wake her up, but she remained unconscious as her body was still weak. Liu Heyun became even more furious, seeing the girl he had chosen kissing someone else in front of him. He angrily told Su Chen, How dare you do this? In that case, you all go to hell together. He released a massive amount of energy and transformed his body into a mutated rat. After fully transforming, he told Su Chen, Now, let me show you the power of a god. Su Chen angry said, Come and show me what you've got. 